All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. And today's video is part four of my trip to Canada with Andy Anderson. We visit the first skate park ever created in Canada, and uh, we also go to one of the coolest skate parks I've ever been to. Make sure to check out the whole video. It's packed full of all kinds of stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching, and if you enjoyed the video, shoot us a like. Waking up in Nanaimo <coughs> and the ground is wet. We're gonna go figure out what we're gonna do today. Word. Yep, definitely wet. All right, what are you doing over there, man? This is the summer camp white spot trick that my, my dad taught me when I was a kid. And when I went on the Powell tour, DeVille told me if Steve Caballero would do it too. No way. Yeah. So, let's see if I can get this to work. Yeah. Gotta get these forks together really solid. Find that balance point. <laughs> no way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it lasted a good like ten seconds. <laughs> Andy's always on the search for the perfect hydrant, man. Word, man, it's pretty dry out here. Pretty dry. Looking good. Looking good. Got some little puddles, but the sky's looking really nice, man. Yeah, Cloudy, good. but not no darkness. Yeah, I'm stoked to skate this old ass park. There's some crazy stuff here. Some crazy stuff. For real. You know, it's like spots that are doing a basic trick is hard. Yep. Doing a hard trick, next level. If that had been a normal board, that would have been it. Oh. Got it, first go. <laughs> Dude. Man. Yeah, it came out perfect. First Perfection. Time. <laughs> it's like you're dancing. The low side's pretty dry. I wonder why that side's not. Thanks to Gus and his homies. Gus Jackson on Insta. Just Gaxon. <laughs> Oh, 
Starting to rain, Andy. It's starting to rain. Chilling. Jeez, dude. You just sat on that coping like it was nothing. <laughs> that was incredible. That was a perfect way to end this. That was a perfect way to get out of this park. What you got there, Andy? Got some sage. Gonna clean up this place. Starting to smell like campers. <laughs> starting to rain outside so we had to had to stop for the day or not the day but all right Andy so what are you doing dude this is the legendary Nanaimo hill bomb I was gonna wait till it was drier but it's, it's grass man it's gonna be so much fun this will be amazing let's just hope it's not too soggy yeah just stay on those back trucks bro Yep. Oh my god. Wow. Are you good? Dude! That was insane. Dude, my feet were slipping off. Really? Yeah. That was so dope. <laughs> wow. Ah. Oh, you just... <laughs> of course, he didn't bring his skateboard into Walmart. <laughs> just picking up some t-shirts. Gonna make some more of these. Splatter, bro. Get that splatter. And pick that, pick that hydrant. Sounds good. We're gonna see this process over the next couple days. Five dollar tees. Sick, bro. Ambulance bros, dude. Same model and everything. The sun has been blessing us every time, right when we need it, man. Perfect. Yeah. Damn, this park looks sick. Wow, dude. That looks fun. You haven't skated the new section yet? No, I haven't skated it. I'm psyched. When's the last time you were here? Three, four years ago? Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe more. Sounds about right. Four years. Alright, Andy, so what skate park is this? This is Vic West. Vic, Vic West, West Skate Park. When's the first time you ever came here? Ooh, good question. I don't know. It's pretty dang young, though. Like ballpark. Uh, nine. Nine? Maybe eight. Dang. No, I think nine. That is a long time ago. Yeah, nine years old. And they used to have this really old section over there, which uh -huh. they just tore out and kind of redid. Redid. But damn, it was cool, man. That's sick. Looks like there's a ton of little snakes. Yeah. A little snake squad. And this basketball court has this weird plastic coating mm -hmm. that makes it so you can scrape your tail for freestyle tricks and it doesn't hurt it. No way. It's like a skid plate on the ground. Oh, that's trippy. I get on. Got some this, is all the, flow. this is all the new stuff? This is all the new stuff, yeah. 
Rad. It used to be two of those, like that weird bent, like quarter pyramid thing. Yeah. It used to be a small one and a big one. It wasn't even the big one wasn't that big, but yeah. and that took up this whole area. Damn. So I'm glad they paid respects and made a new one. Yeah. That's where I learned how to blunt fakie actually. Really? On something like that's perfect for it. Yeah, yeah. That's so sick. One of my first ever handrails. No way. Board slide, backside, couldn't ollie very high. I was totally like a truck hanger. <laughs> but when you're like nine? Uh, I don't know about that young. Yeah. Probably a couple years coming here before 11. I did that one. Yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah. Got you, dude. That's so sick. Yeah, man. I do those tune ups, bro. Yo, so, little story about that handrail. Mm -hmm. I was skating it with this guy, you know, we came pretty good friends. He was much older than me. He's probably 11 or 12, as we were saying. Yada, yada, yada. Many years pass, and I have this girlfriend. I'm in grade seven, Yeah. and I'm in White Rock. There's actually a White Rock in White Rock. Oh, yeah. There's actually a White Rock that you can climb up. <laughs> and I'm chilling up there with my girlfriend in grade seven, okay? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, this big group of dudes come up, and they're like drinking and making all this noise, like, Ugh! and I'm like, dude, are they gonna like push us off or something? Like these guys are hardcore, you know? Yeah. And one guy turns to me, he goes, hey, are you Andrew? Right, because I was called Andrew back then? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. He's like, remember me from Vic West? Dude, like we were skating that rail together. And I was no like, way. No way, dude, how's it going? Where you been? And he's like, oh, I've been in jail. Oh. Just got out of jail. Oh. And I was like, oh, damn, bro. Hey, well, at least he didn't push you off. Yeah, and I was know? in grade seven with my girl, and like all these big dudes were like, yo, dude, this kid <laughs> coming out of jail and stuff. That's so sick. It was so tight, man. That is tight. Full pads, helmet, just like a little warrior, like, ah. And he remembered you, bro. Yeah, dude. So funny. That's a good story. I like it. Moral of the story, be nice to everybody at the skate parks because you never know when you're going to bump into them again. Straight up. <laughs>
First, Swedish nose bending into tranny. That was crazy. Dude's filming us too, man. Should we just like move on? Go in circles, maybe? Let's go that way and I'll meet him on the other side. Hey, he's telling the security guard to go that way so get your clip. Get your clip, bro. He's throwing a fit. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, yeah. What? First try! <laughs> oh my god! Heat. All right, let's go across the street. Let's get out of here. Dude, that was so sick, bro. Thank you so much. Dude, props, bro. Thank you, man. Trippy, man. Yeah, I, I wish we could skate this because it looks so damn sick. I don't think there's any way for you to skate it, man. <laughs> You said it, dude. I gotta do it. You dropped in on that. Wow. I didn't spine transfer it, okay? Fun skating with this guy. <laughs> You're like one of the best guys I've ever seen, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, Thanks what's your name? Andy Anderson. Andy Anderson, Marcus Murillas, man. Fuck that. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You landed right in the crack, bro. Crack kills.
too. You did, bro. Thanks for making my life easy, Andy. I appreciate it. Dude, that was junk. What? I didn't even do the front side no comply properly. You wanna see it? No, I'm gonna do it once more. Do it again? Do it again. All right. There you go, bro. Dude, it worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, you just keep skating the opposite direction of everything I'm trying to put you on. Right? Yeah, switch caveman. I'm very curious to see you try this. Oh, no problem. For not skating switch, I thought you were probably going to fall. <laughs> All right, Andy, so what's going on right now? That's the... Hydrant. Dang, the super hydrant. I'm gonna pull over just for it. The emerald hydrant. Emerald hydrant, turquoise hydrant, hydrant of all hydrants. And I just bought a shirt with a similar color. I like the chains. Yeah, oh, it's 2018. Really? Yeah. It's brand new. Whoa. Dang, T-Rex. Oh my God, that's such a good piece. Man. Dude. Whoever did that blessed the skate park. Look at this thing. Holy crap. What the heck, it was like Batman insignias? <laughs> Dude, there's so many head hazards. Like, that metal. What the fuck? Sorry for cussing, viewers. <laughs> Dude, whole jam. This, all this stuff wasn't here last time I was here. Wow. This doorway, that pool, and then the classic. Oh my god. This is amazing, dude. Thank god we came and it's freaking dry. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing some of the locals, you know? Wow, look at that. It's like you got the best of both worlds. You got nature right at your freaking back door. Then you got an awesome skate park. Wow. <laughs> this is so epic, dude. So sick. Holy crap. You maniac. So if you'd see this, you'd think we're just, you know, in the Great Pacific Northwest. Amazing shot. Nope. Got one of the gnarliest skate parks ever. <laughs> With some of the coolest graffiti also. They're killing it. <sighs> wow. One of the gnarliest skate parks ever. For sure. Dude, there's so much death here. That's why, that's why I think they, there's all the skulls everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god! That's what he's talking about, slapping stickers. Yeah, man. That's way up there, though. Holy crap, how did they get it all the way up there? <laughs> man! What? <laughs> you know what's trippy? I don't think I've seen much footage of this place. Not too many people can skate it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Got a good point. Two stretches, kids. We heard a story of a guy who was skating here by himself. He flew over that quarter pipe right there and broke his leg and he was laying in the net for an hour because he couldn't get out. <laughs> That's true. Be careful skating by yourself out there, guys.
whoever built this place too did such a good job. The tranny and everything is so perfect. It's just really tight and like built to the specifications of this place, but building something like this takes so much skill. Man, good job, good job. So freaking good, dude. So a lot of you guys have probably never seen the movie Hook, but there's a scene in Hook where all the Lost Boys have this like skate park built into this place. Like seriously, this is that times a hundred. <laughs> this is so freaking rad. Oh my God. slide down there. I don't care if my pants get dirty. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. So, I just wanted to say something that's been on my mind longer than this trip is the search for Animal Chin. Have you seen him? And like, my, my last journeys, wherever I've been going to contests and stuff, I've been searching, you know, looking for Chin. And he's been near. See, you never find him, but you can always tell when he's near, and you can tell he's super near here <laughs> at this spot. And what I mean by that is you just you follow your passion for skating to wherever it takes you, stuff works out. Every park we skate, we skate until it starts raining and, or it gets dark, and then the rain tells us when to leave. Yep keeps me from getting injured from trying tricks too many times yeah and it hasn't actually rained during a session yet this whole time and it's rained many times every single day so just having that goal set following your skate passion searching never finding but always searching the skateway man
<laughs> the gateway to the skateway. That's the trees, bro. Hell yeah. Keep searching, keep chinning. Keep chinning. chinning. And when you're when he's close, you're chinning, man. That is the sickest little green over there. That's so rad. What are you doing? What the hell, dude? You got mad upper body strength. <laughs> that is so awesome. That is. <laughs> There you go, man. Yeah. Left your mark. Yeah. Okay. Let's We're out, go. bro. Okay, let's We're do done it. for now. And we're out of here. Bye, T Rex. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. We're about to wait and get on the ferry back to Vancouver and go back and have some awesome adventures over there, which I'm really excited for. I want to go to Plaza yeah. and, you know, just go chill with everybody, all the homies. Yeah, man. And, uh, yeah, man. Hopefully we see some killer whales on here. Yeah. I'm, like, praying for killer whales, dude. <laughs> This is gonna be the most epic ferry ride, bro. I can feel it. Like, look at those clouds. These shots are gonna be like majestic. Yeah, dude, we're like gonna a, uh, like a freaking flying unicorn, bro. Like a freaking flying unicorn. <laughs> a floating unicorn. A floating manatee, bro. <laughs> I love manatees. Oh, I do. They're a unicorn of the sea, and they exist. <laughs> Wait, aren't manatees the big, like, fat ones? With the horn. No, that's like a norwal or something like that. Oh, dude, don't listen to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments below which is what it of Mike Andy Anderson uses to put these on. 
Ugh. And be super particular. You screw them all in, like halfway, mm -hmm. and you take them all out. And then there's there's gonna be like a little spit out of the wood. Mm -hmm. so you screw them all in halfway, take them all out, and then you sand that down flat. Oh, that's so smart. And then they go in super easy. Yeah. But the easiest way to do it takes time and tools, but you tape on your rails where you want it and you mark the holes Yeah. and you get a tiny drill and you pre-drill it. Countersink, yeah. Pre-drill the tiniest little hole Yeah. and it just goes right in there. Like so perfectly. Just so perfect. Damn, that makes so much sense. And you never do it with a power drill, right? No, because if you go it's too much. a bit too far, it strips it. Strips it. Yeah. There you go, guys. I remember being a kid going into Skull Skates or going into PD's Hot Shop and like buying a brand new board. And then PD would be like, I'd be like, can you put on my rails for me? And he'd be like, no, man, you do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm like on the ground doing it and he'd just be like watching me, be like, <laughs> way to mess up your brand new board, bro. <laughs> And I'd like look at it to be like slightly off and I was like, damn it, why didn't you do it? <laughs>
so rad, bro. It's because if you're skating too late, huh? Stuffing. Dang. All my blankets, garbage, dictionary. That's epic. I like your paintings, dude. Those faces are really yeah. cool. That kind of went on like two panels because each uh, window has like two windows. Yeah. Or like each side has two windows. And they're in like pieces. So if I do take it apart, I can like recycle the, the sides, the four sides. Damn, that's rad. But yeah, like 10, 10 foot two by four just for the hammock. So I can, you can hook it on. What? From outside. So it's not completely. You sleep insulated. in a hammock in there? It's not small, so yeah. insulated. What? It's still insulating the ceiling right now. That's so, so it's dope. just taking forever though. For yeah. like, and the base is built out of his old ramp. That's why it's curved. Oh yeah. Damn. That's where I'm he recycled idea. his old ramp and <laughs> built this. Dude, that's so dope. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, as years go by, it'll, it'll look more better. A little bit of plumbing. So what's going on, Andy? We're about to go skate the oldest skate park in Canada. Yeah? Yeah. The OG. The OG. The oldest skate park in Canada. Damn. Whoa, so it goes that way? Yeah, bro. Crap. So we can just scope this thing out, check out all the other puddles. It's right at the base of a mountain, so it always rains here. Yeah. This thing's beautiful. Beautiful. Look how epic that is. Oh, it's just a sick skate park right here, chilling. I've seen so many tricks over the years and always wanted to come here and check it out. It's awesome. I'm getting to check out all these parks and awesome tour spots and stuff. Chilling with Andy. It's a really neat experience to get pulled around by locals and see everything. It's uh, an honor. <laughs> so fast a lot of people wonder how I got on Powell and it wasn't through the Instagram it wasn't through the team manager it was through a freestyle contest <laughs> that I won the amateur division in and the guy who started that freestyle contest along with Kevin Harris the guy who started at Monty Little was the one who designed this bowl Damn. and he's still around still killing it. still killing it dude that's so dope Heck no. Built in 1978. So all you guys know the broom that I bring around you see my car, this is Andy's broom, but his big old ambulance. <laughs> Dude, I think you can get a bigger one, man. I think you got the space. <laughs> Try to find some fossils. Wow, bro, seriously, it's a, it's a fossil duster. I mean, this place is kind of fossilized now, so. Oh yeah, oh, here's a good fossil under the sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. God, dude. Look at that. That's so tight. Skateboard archaeology. Yeah, right? 101. Recently uncovered this place just by that brush. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with such a small thing. <laughs> like, some people show up this park and, like, what am I gonna do? Like, how am I gonna do anything?
That was legit. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, you blew it, Andy. You gotta do it all over now. <laughs> Still got to skate it even though it's he's like sweeping. You're water out of a pool and you just want to skate so bad. We're yeah. sweeping, not sleeping. <laughs> that was it. Good luck, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've been trying it for like an hour. No, don't. <laughs> Woo. That's what a Tim Hortons gift card can get you. How you doing, man? Oh my God. Is that a, is she a girl? I've watched your channel. If you could do it, dude, yeah. <laughs> okay. Me and Nathan are like, huh? Oh. Like what? Maybe, maybe <laughs> you just gotta show us it because you're trying to tell us and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> hey, right here. So damn beautiful out here right now, man. Woo! Whoa, dude. That's number one. I was too close that time anyway, so. Oh my gosh, Andy Anderson. <laughs> Alright guys, well, it's another amazing sesh with Andy, skating the crazy parks of Vancouver. And oh, and Nathan, and Nathan. I'm super hyped to come here and skate with these guys, so what are we doing now, guys? You can barely see them, but there's a thing about Vancouver and 10,000 crows, and that's so epic. They're flying through that cloud also. Wow, look how many they are, dude, to just keep going and going and going. That is so rad. We literally just caught the beginning of it too. I'm not gonna sit here and film all of them though guys. That'll be a really long time. <laughs> just got to the legendary plaza. Andy wants to film some stuff. See how it goes. We are at the plaza. This is the sacred vortex of street skating in Vancouver. Everybody comes here every night to party here till 3 a.m. every single night. Lights stay on all night, and it's just wonderful yeah. for hardcore granite ledge skating with giant cracks, seven stair, little ledge with weird run up, like wall rides and one quarter pipe. It's just the best place to hang out. And you know what? You can get really creative. Really creative. So that's why I love it. Sick, dude. Spent a lot of time here. I to be here. And I'm gonna do some freestyle tonight. Your legs are pretty beat after everything. After all we did today, son, you're gonna come back tomorrow in the daylight. Fresh legs. 
Fresh legs. Sick. Okay. See if you can go right into something. Are you ready? Yeah. He's gonna want to do it again. <laughs> yeah. A little, little wiggly. Yeah, that was good. That was fucking great. I was tired. Thanks, sir. That's a promise, bro. That's a that's a part of If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you like the type of content that I, that I post. I upload almost every day. And please turn on those post notifications so that you're notified when I post a video. Thanks, yo. Have a great day or night or whatever.